everybody, this is Sailor from 2001, and I would like to invite you down the rabbit hole and through the looking glass as I take you into one of my personal favorite games of American McGee's Alice. I'm doing this for my 200 sub special. Yay, I got 200 subs. It's been more than a year, but I finally got 200 subs. I'm happy. That means people like me. And I like you, I love you all too. That means I love you all for enjoying my videos. Despite the fact that I think a lot of them really kind of suck. But anyways, enough about that. American McGee's Alice is a very dark, cynical, twisted version of Alice in Wonderland, as you might expect from this lovely opening. Um... Main purpose of this, I have several purposes really for doing this. First of all, I want to show this to all my fans who may or may not have heard of this game. If you have, great. If you haven't, then I urge you to watch because it is a very, very cool game. Um, I will. You know, with when the game came out, they it, some but some of the CDs came with a case book been told not all of them did. I unfortunately don't have the casebook, but I was able to download a PDF version of it and read through that. So I will, and the casebook is essentially, essentially, at, I, this is expanded in the intro, but essentially Alice goes mad because a fire gets started and she's racked with guilt because the fire started close to her and it killed her entire family. So she thinks, she blames herself. Um, and the case book is her uh, doctor at the asylum writing things down about her case, how she's progressing over the years, which is several years according to the dates, like 10 years, I believe, something like that. Um, and there are things, and since Wonderland is essentially in Addison's mind, the things she sees and hears in the real world affect the things going on in her mind. Essentially, this whole game is her trying to reclaim her sanity after losing it. So I will be making um, remarks on how stuff in Wonderland is related to things mentioned in the casebook. Um, I don't know much about Alice in Wonderland, the book, uh, so I don't really, I, I've, actually this one reason, another reason I'm doing this is because this is one game that has actually inspired me to go out and learn about the material that this, the game talks about. This actually got me curious in Alice in Wonderland and Beyond the Looking Glass and what Alice found there. Uh, I haven't read them yet, I've been reading to, but I get distracted very easily, unfortunately. Um, but I am planning to read them at some point or another. Anyways, so I'll make references and remarks to that. So this will be kind of a learning thing, but I'll try not to do it too much. This is actually my second time recording this because the first time there was an audio mishap and I felt I talked too much about the casebook and not enough about the game. Anyways, my other two re the two other reasons for doing this. One, I have a friend, uh, Gen, the guy who did the Shadow Man LP with me, uh, has not played nor has he um, seen what this game is about. So I'm doing this uh, in, partly for him as well, so that he may see it as well as any of, like I said, as well as any of you who have not seen or heard of this game before. And I'm also doing it in case if you've noticed my several favorites on my list or just, you know, been around in the gaming area in general, you will know that there is a sequel to this game coming out next month, June 14th. Call, oh, actually this month, considering it's June 1st when I'm recording this, so I have like 13 days before it comes out. Damn. Anyways, the sequel is coming out. And I plan to do an LP of that, a blind LP, fun. Um, but I want to do this game first because this game is just awesome. So, 
without further ado, let us get started. So, let's get started. Uh, I will be playing this on medium because this game is actually... Uh, I've played it a few times. I am not very good at it. And essentially this goes like, it goes like this for me. Medium is hard. Hard is nightmare. And playing it on nightmare is just out of the goddamn question. I touch a nightmare with a 20 foot pole. Anyway. Medium. And here comes the intro. Wake up, Dormy. It's time for the tea party. <laughs> I've got one. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Ah! Ah! Oh dear! Oh dear! Ah! We must save Alice! Wake up, Alice! Wake up! And there you have it, the intro. Like I said, it's it, she blames herself and that for the fire happening, and thus she goes a little insane. As you can see, uh, she's also grown up quite a bit. Oh, and right on her ass. Ouch. Please don't dawdle, Alice. We're the very white late indeed. rabbit seems to have changed very much. And Cheshire! How you doing, buddy? Missed ya. Even though I just played the game last night. You've gone quite mangy, cat. But your grin's a comfort. Oh yeah, with all those teeth. you've picked up a bit of an attitude. Still curious and willing to learn, I hope. Wonderland's become quite strange. How is one to find her way? As knowing where you're going is preferable to being lost, ask. Rabbit knows a thing or two, and I myself don't need a weather vane to tell which way the wind blows. Let your need guide your behavior. Suppress your instinct to lead. Pursue, Rabbit. So I went quiet right there because I... Unfortunately, I, I know this game so well. I, or uh, some of the quotes, in, I, I know the quotes in this game so well, I can actually recite some of them, which I was doing silently, without even looking at the subtitles. Now first of all, you've got to appreciate this. Considering this game was made back in, what, 2000? That's pretty decent graphics. The game has pretty different, decent graphics for when it was made. Now first of all, you gotta take in Alice. She's gone... Because of her insanity, she, her outfit has gone kind of gothy, at least in Wonderland. She's got a little skull on a bow, and she's got a uh, very nice black boots. I like those. Kind of cool. Of course, then again, I, I 
think I'm, I mentioned this side, but I got a thing for uh, weird girls. I don't know why. I mean, I like Alice, and I like Alice from this, and I like Heather from Silent Hill 3. It's weird. Oh, and a bit of a tidbit. Uh, the Cheshire Cat looks the way he does, because apparently there's a very emaciated cat that is mentioned in the casebook that at one point when Alice is brought into the asylum jump onto Alice when she, she comes in, Alice comes in comatose and the cat jumps onto her and then later you see the same cat or what the doctor assumes to be the same cat squeezing through the bars to see Alice and then jumping away apparently giving the doctor a grin as it leaves anyways wow that guy looks that's, that's very odd to have our a giant ball on your back destroyed our spirit crush. reminds me of the asylum is there no joy here slavery and happiness do not dwell in the same place yeah that sounds about right when the path is problematical consider a leap of faith ride the wind yep so like in I mean okay that little camera up in the corner that means that it's being saved and you will I will use the quick save a lot in this game you need it trust me okay uh, like I was saying, like in the opening for the Disney version, I'll, I think it's in the... Again, I don't know much about the book, but I guess in the book, you can float on uh, steam using your dress. Alice's dress. Not your dress. That sounds creepy. I do not own a dress. Anyway. So you can fly on steam like that. Stir up no trouble, stranger. The Red Queen's agents are ruthless. Of course, I'm the Red Queen is that behind us. Never was really. You should stand up to them. Defiance is useless. While the Queen reigns, only death can release us from this misery. Or her death, I suppose. Yeah. Meta her essence death would help. is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. So, like Cheshire just said. Meta Essence is essentially uh, your health pickups. Of course, it also can restore um, the blue bar on the right, which is Will, I believe. Draw Veil's Gas Extraction. I'm sure that's a reference to something. Possibly. Maybe. Or I'm just looking too hard in the stuff. So, let's go pick up the Meta Essence so we can get uh, their health back. And, ooh, we get our first, first weapon, the Vorpal Blade. Go Your life snap. is necessary, but not sufficient. Always collect what's useful. Reject only your ignorance, and you may survive. Oh, look, the rabbit. I oh, don't want to wait you. Ah, bastard. He always does that, doesn't he? He always shrinks and runs off. Bastard. Okay, so, we got our first weapon, the Vorpal Blade. Obviously the name is a reference to uh, Lewis Carroll's... Uh, what was it? Tort poem? It's a poem. Yeah, it's a poem. Uh, Jabberwocky, where the knight blade is referred to as the Volvo blade. You got basically primary attack is knife attack and the secondary attack you throw it. However it takes a while before it pops back up in your hand. Ta-da! And also you'll notice these little worm tentacle things. I read somewhere somebody's synopsis of the plot and stuff and like the different things in the game that uh, these probably could be a representation of uh, Alice's mind deteriorating 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 from uh, insanity apparently that's been used in other movies which I've kind of seen it before 
Also, you'll notice these little shoe looking things on the ground. Uh, wherever you point the mouse on the ground, these things will appear and if you press space, Alice would jump to that. Which is quite useful in some of the platforming, but considering a lot of platforming, you're running away, there's a couple of points in the game when you're running away from something and you're trying to platform, it's not always useful, but for common moments it's quite useful. <laughs> 